<sighs> right, we'll try again. Happy homebrew Wednesday, everybody. And what I mean by that is I've just spent the best part of 10, 12 minutes doing an homebrew Wednesday. Camera's just cut out. No footage. No media. This is no media file supported somewhat. So I've lost everything I've just done. So I'm going to have to do a quick recap because we're just having Steve Molson's uh, Russian Imperial Stout at 7.8% and it was bottled 19th at first this year. Uh, I've just gone through telling you how lovely it is, what aromas we're getting, what flavours we're getting and it's all gone. So just a quick recap, it is excellent, it's another top notch beer you're getting velvety smooth on mouthfeel, a good nice medium body, real strong roast and bitterness, not overly bitter, just nice for a stout and a really really top beer. Uh, I hope when I do a stout I do it and half as good as this. Really good beer Steve, thanks a lot. I did spend a bit more time on it before but I'm just worried this is going to cut out again and knacker up again and we'll miss it altogether. So that was Steve's beer, very nice. And I just went through my beer 52 box has just uh, been delivered today. I've just been through what beers I've got. Uh, I'll go through them again very quickly. Alpha Beta Rye Session IPA 4.5% uh, Ilklib Brewery a Lotus India Pale Ale 5.9% Bonaparte Dry Opt Berliner Weiss Beer or Weiss Beer, however you pronounce it, it's Weiss Beer, isn't it? I think. A Tiny Rebel Club Tropicana IPA. Looking forward to that. A Yellow Sub 5% uh, IPA. White IPA, I think it says. Can't quite read it. We'll find out when we have it. Pink grapefruit. Pale ale. So they're very summery type beers, aren't they? they look quite nice. A smokeless, smoked porter. And last but not least, uh, perceptionless New England IPA. So, looking forward to them. What next? Oh, I also got in it with a, I get your usual ferment magazine, and it looks like they're doing a big section on Tiny Rebel. So we'll have a read of that later. Uh, I feel like I'm rushing now, because I'm trying to get through everything again. Uh, anyway. Uh, so, that's my beer 50 toolbox for this month. That one here, Ferment Magazine, Steve's Beer. Now, my beers, my own brew, uh, I've not done anything. If you just look behind you there, oh, it's just over there. The one nearest the fridge, that's the Root Citrus 6 American Wheat. That's ready for bottling. But I don't think I'm going to have a chance now till uh, probably Saturday afternoon. I'm on nights, Friday night, so up 12 ish, half 12. So it's going to be mid afternoon. So I'll come in here, get telly on, a bit of sport, whatever. Might have a couple of beers, bottle that. That's what the other bucket's for. I'll transfer it and then bottle from that. Uh, that's my beer. I've not had a chance to brew. Uh, Things got in way the other day, so I've not been able to brew. Hopefully, 
I'm not at work Monday, Tuesday, so Monday or Tuesday, hopefully I'll uh, get, I think it was the Mosaic IPA we're going to do next, get that done. And then, last thing to show you really, is just a few gifts I got at Father's Day. Uh, I got quite a few bits and bats, but I'm only going to show you beer related stuff really. Uh, what shall we start with? Uh, first off I got a a nice tulip style uh, glass beer o'clock so look forward to trying that uh, I got a case of Yorkshire Blonde 4.5% uh, from Osset Brewery uh, from my son, his girlfriend or not girlfriend or just friends or whatever they are, uh, she works there so I think that were a discounted uh, price so can't knock that and it is a nice drink if uh, anybody drops on that try it. Uh, other thing we got a Iron Maiden tin uh, which is quite nice for displaying in here and it contains a trooper charged with flavour uh, pint glass uh, and I don't know whether you can see that but it's etched on bottom with uh, Eddie's face and a nice 500ml bottle of uh, the beer trooper so that's a nice little gift and something nice for me to display in here and last beer related gift, well, I'll show you the box first I got a set of uh, three beer tasting glasses and a paddle uh, I, think the, I think my daughter got me these yeah, they were from daughter uh, just a nice little paddle and you get your three glasses which will for me it'll come in very handy when I'm doing like a side by side with somebody's beer if it's a clone or something or I'm doing two home brews at the same sort of style or three home brews I can put them all in the same sort of glass uh, if I'm doing side by sides or like that and incidentally they were from Asda which if you're in England you'll know what I'm on about, if it's America or whatever it'll be a Walmart uh, and a set of them, three of them and Paddle because I'd already seen them week before uh, I think they were £6 so they're giving them away for now and that were in uh, like home section you know they have clothes and then they have all pots and pans and all glasses and all that stuff in that section six pounds whether they were just in because Father's Day were coming up whether they've still got them in I don't know but if any of you are interested just go have a look at Asda see if they've still got any six pound can't knock them and that's it so hopefully this is recorded and it hadn't messed up like last time so I think that's everything Nothing else to tell you. Uh, oh, my, my fridge that I took a lot of pride in in spraying up has finally died. Uh, and we'd have had, well, we've had it some years. It used to be fridge in the house, then it came in here. Uh, it's dead. So I need a new fridge. All I've got now is a little under counter one at back at bar, which I put a keg in. Now, at minute I've put 
put some bottles in. So I need another fridge. Uh, I think long term plan will be to. The one we've got in house is actually black. And it's a bit smaller than that. So we might fetch that one out of house in here and buy a new one for house. Uh, just got to work on the early indoors a bit. But I think that's what we'll do. So I think all in all, we'll leave it for now. Happy Homebrew Wednesday for this week. And I'll catch you next time. Cheers, everybody.